Bulldogs rivalry mean to you? Um, I feel like a lot of people talk about it. Even like the teams you're not super familiar with, you know, be like, oh, we got a big game. Are you gonna win? They always ask that, and it means a lot because I, ever since I've been a freshman, I've never beat whitefish in soccer. So there's always just this like intensity and almost like anger going into every game against them because we just want to win. It's big. It's a big game, and I just want to win. Adjustments, we switch you around a little bit. Like, just trust the process, baby. Trust the process. Keep grinding. You needed a win like that to prove you can win a game like that. Okay, let's go. Hey, we got playoffs now.
so it was pretty much just like, it was our last chance to beat them really, like in a regular season ever. And I'd never done that before. Yeah, it was just, it was a great feeling knowing that we were finally like able to get over that like block in our mind. Having the support from like our boys team and just like our classmates and stuff that we're able to come watch since it is like a close town, you know, like it's just right there. So a lot of people are able to come support. And I just think like being able to put together a full 90 minutes of success, like we played solid for a whole game. And that was just super rewarding to be able to get the result that we wanted to because sometimes you'll play a game like that and you'll play good and still come up short, which has happened to us a few times. But for me being a senior and it being my first time ever beating Whitefish was pretty cool. It's really special to us because, especially this year, we've had we've had a hard time in the past. And we've always um, really fought really hard for that win, and then we finally got it this year, and I, it was really special. It's just this mental block when it comes to playing them and it was just so relieving to everyone to like finally get over that. The rivalry is really big deal. A lot more people know this than any other game. Um, it was really nice to see that our community notices that kind of thing. Me personally, I'm super excited to play um, Big Four this week just to really get back. We've tied them both regular season games and I'm really excited to show what we have and just with the playoff season, we're working way harder. We just beat Hamilton in the quarterfinals and now we play Big Four here which also has been a big mental block for us this year given we've tied them twice. I think that coming off our win this past weekend against Hamilton was super solid from us and I mean Big Fork's a good team. Um, it'll be fun to play them again but I mean I am very confident we're going to win and I'm very confident that from there we could win, win it all. This year I mean I can really feel it. It's all out in front of us if we just go grab it and work for it. I imagine we'll see Whitefish in the finals.
I'm gonna leave it to you leaders because you got 40 minutes left, right? You gotta lock it in. Yeah. We have no excuses now. No matter what, no matter what, we have to win and be playing next week. Okay. Thanks to you guys. You guys, yeah. 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 you guys have as much confidence as Josie has up top every single time she gets it. Just go around them. Yeah. They're not as fast yeah. as us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Catch up. Going to the state. Wow. See you on Monday, okay? Have fun. Get in trouble. Be really smart this weekend. Be smart next week. You got a date with Whitefish. Woo! That'd be pretty sweet, man. Congratulations. I love you guys. First state championship we've had at Columbia Falls since 2014. Since 2014. If you could describe this team with one word, what would it be? Ready. Ready. I mean, I think that the freshmen that came into the program were ready to contribute at a stage that most freshmen aren't ready to contribute at. The sophomores were ready to take another step from being freshmen that were just getting getting to that point to being big impact players. And I think these seniors that had, you know, struggled and lost in the playoffs the past few years, they were ready to overcome that and get to a championship. And this team was ready. It was ready to give themselves a, a chance and uh, they were ready to be a championship caliber. It would 
be very emotional, I feel like. I mean, I've been in this program for four years. The other seniors have to. We've put a lot into it, you know, and we've had a solid team the past three years, but, you know, we've, I've never played in a state championship game before, and I just think it would mean so much. Like, we're all just best friends, so if we were to do that together, like, I mean, I wouldn't want to win a state championship with any other team, so. None of us, any seniors, have won before or even been in the championship, and so I think it means the world and even just having semis at home and just the whole environment and just everything, I think it would mean the world. Good afternoon, soccer fans! Whitefish High School welcomes you to Smithfield to beautiful Whitefish, Montana. Home of the Whitefish Bulldogs! Today the Whitefish Bulldogs and the Columbia Falls Wildcats have the honor of playing for the Montana Class A Oh, we'll finish on that one. It's lovely. Let's go.
State champion. You know, it was just it was just really, really incredible because we made it so far in the season and everybody's energy was so amazing for that game. It was freezing cold and everybody went out with their full cheering and going for their team. And then even after it ended, obviously we were all kind of heartbroken, but it was just such a <clears throat> such a good build up in a way to show that we are a hardworking team, that we really made a difference this season, that it was an incredible loss, but also an incredible win. They showed a lot of grit, showed a lot of toughness to be able to overcome that adversity of being down 3-0, stop the bleeding, get a goal, give yourself something to fight for at the end. So came up short, but you know, at the end of the day, the story to get to that point was so amazing. And even if the ending isn't quite what you wanted it to be, it was a great, great year and so proud of the girls. Once we got on that bus, everyone was quiet, but they were, sending messages. There were letters that were sent out before the game to the players. There were hugs, so many hugs, so many pictures being took. It was just really great to be with the group again and to know that yes, we lost, but we're still family. After Whitefish, it was like, it was really heavy, but it wasn't like, because we lost the championship, it was more like because my season was over. Like, my high school career was over. But we all just hugged, and it was immediately better after that. Like, just having my team right there with me. The feelings after our game against Whitefish honestly didn't have a lot to do with the fact we lost. Like, for me, it was more that our season was coming to end. Like, I mean, the day before that game at practice, we were all bawling our eyes out because we knew that it was our last practice together. So for us, more than anything, it was just our last game together as that team. And for us seniors, our last game with the team ever, you know what I mean? So um, I would just say that we came together and I mean, we prayed together and we just were all trying to be there for each other. And it was just, yeah, it was, I mean, it was a sad moment, but it was also a cool moment to come together. Well, I think we just kind of reflected in all of our memories that we've had. Uh, there's a lot of me, Hope, and Josie um, care about this team greatly. And so I think it's just a reflection on how much it's meant to us over the past years. And just talking with everyone and how proud we were. And just the freshman class this year was just incredible. And all the memories we've made were really important and helped us throughout that. I guess I'm just appreciative for every single person on that team. There's been girls that 
have made a huge mark in my life that I will never forget, and I'll remember this team for the rest of my life, and that's going to mean a lot.